We're pretty sure that as long as you're literally ruling a country, you won't feel the need to have any other thing in your life. And yet, a not-so-shockingly huge number of world leaders also have a taste for the good green stuff. So if you're interested in finding out more, please watch the video till the end, because today I'm going to shock you. Number 7. Sebastian Piñera he may not be a king, but he does know how to act like one. Sebastián Piñera is the incumbent president of Chile as part of his second term in office, and boy does he exceed expectations. Although his tenure as a world leader formally started in 2010 and then had a hiatus from 2014 to 2018, one thing that has definitely not gone down is his net worth. Estimated by Forbes, Sebastián's family controls a mind-boggling $2.9 billion, and the extent of how deep that influence goes is astounding. Originally getting his start with a credit card company called Bancard, which he founded in 1976, Piñera has gone on to sell multiple state holdings as well, from owning and later selling a 26% stake in the Chilean national airline LAN after the 2010 election, to selling the entire rights to Chile's national television network Chilevision to Time Warner for what's reported to be a deal worth $150 million. And if that sounds suspicious for a state leader to do, it's not the only time he's been accused of it. Because the Chilean public has been getting more and more tense at his bank balance, especially after he was accused of selling a sensitive copper and iron mine to a childhood friend. Moving on, we have the richest monarch in Europe. Number 6. Hans Adam II Sir Johannes Adam Ferdinand Alwa Josef Maria Marco Daviano Pius has a name that's as worthy of a rich monarch as I've ever heard. And belonging to a 900-year-old family whose name is the reason his native Liechtenstein is called Liechtenstein, he also has the pedigree for it. By owning a huge amount of assets, including the largest bank in the country, as well as having extensive investments and land holdings, Prince Hans Adam II has amassed a fortune worth over $4 billion, making him the single richest king in Europe. And if you think that's an unhealthy amount of influence over a state, just wait till you hear about the next guy. You know him. You love him. Number 5. Kim Jong-un Dear Supreme Leader himself, Kim Jong-un, is no stranger to accusations of immense power. And the accusations of immense wealth are nothing different, since he is practically the only person in North Korea with any significant ownership rights. And for a while, and even now, the actual extent of his vast assets was a mystery. According to US and South Korean investigations in 2013, they uncovered a sum of nearly $5 billion. And the way those assets are distributed is characteristically North Korea as well, with the Supreme Leader's family controlling banks, business and everything else in the country, and then stashing away their profits in over 200 banks everywhere from Austria, Luxembourg, Russia, and Switzerland, just to be safe, of course. Number 4. Mohammed VI that's right. At the number four spot on our list, we have Mohammed VI, the current ruler of Morocco, who ascended the throne after his father's death in 1999, and has since controlled a vast amount of wealth in the oil-rich country. By owning a 35% stake in Société Nationale d'Investissement SNI, a company that holds stakes in many smaller companies, from the country's largest bank to sugar companies and dairy farms, the controversial leader has a Forbes-estimated worth of nearly $5 billion. And to get an idea of how he spends that money, according to Forbes, the daily budget of his personal palace is expected to be over $960,000. And the worst part? That is not paid by his own assets, but instead by the Moroccan state, as part of a fund that operates on a budget of $2.5 billion every year. Now that's what living like a king means, but that still doesn't make him the richest king in the world. So let's take it a notch up with the next person on our list. Someone who will no doubt be familiar to anyone who knows a thing or two about unwieldy spending, because that's right, we're talking about the Sultan of Brunei. Number 3. Hassan al Bolkiah. Commonly known simply as the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkiah has been quite often cited as the richest king in the world. And while he barely misses the mark on that, it definitely does not make him anything less than a financial giant. As sovereign and owner of Brunei's oil reserves, paired with Brunei's low population and relatively decent public life, Sultan Bolkiah has amassed an estimated net worth of $20 billion, according to Forbes. And while that number hasn't gone up significantly, 
Due to bad policymaking, stuff does seem to be looking up as Brunei diversifies its economy. However, despite the aforementioned policymaking, one thing that hasn't been going mundanely is the Sultan's spending habits. To get a base idea of the kind of life we're talking about, the king reportedly purchased 48 handbags as well as 24 duck umbrellas from Lederer de Paris shop in New York in 2010 for absolutely no reason. Another extremely useless thing that the Sultan is known for purchasing is the sheer amount of cars the guy has, with a collection that's made up of reportedly at least 7,000 cars. That's right, if the Sultan drove a new car every single day, it would take him nearly 20 years to go through his personal collection alone. And it's not just regular cars either. Instead, the guy is reported to have spent $789 million only on high-performance cars. And according to Guinness World Records, the collection has more than 600 Rolls Royces, more than 450 Ferraris, and if you're a car fan, you're gonna love this. 134 Koenig Sigs. These are considered among the absolute rarest cars in existence, and this guy has over 100 of them. Another absurd fact, according to reports from the 90s, the royal family during those times accounted for almost half of all Rolls-Royce purchases. And so while he may not be the richest of them all, we do know that if wealth was measured in cars, he'd surely make the mark. Now, I know a lot of you expected this guy to be at the top of our list. However, the two people ahead of him seem to have mastered the art of gaining wealth through nation building, because their numbers dwarf the previous ones on our list. Starting with the richest king on earth, number two, Maha Wajira Longkon. That's right. The richest monarch in the world and the second richest world leader is King Maha Wajira Longkon, or as some call him, King Rama X. Coronated as the 10th king of the Chakri dynasty, Rama has been known as a millionaire playboy for years, but his actual net worth is still shocking. The clearest example of his luxurious spending would be his first act as king of Thailand. That is, his coronation. The event, which lasted three days from May the 4th to May the 6th, 2019, cost the Thai government a whopping $31 million. And his personal worth now? Well, that's said to be anywhere from 34 to a whopping 45 billion dollars. And that's not even including the most valuable resources that he supposedly doesn't own directly, but is nonetheless under him as king. And one of those would be the Crown Property Bureau, an organization that owns and maintains all of the properties of the Crown. And wouldn't you know it, the guy dissolved the committee and brought it under him, potentially adding a 70 billion dollar sum to his already bloated worth. When he's not dissolved, Involving important national committees, the sovereign of Thailand likes to spend his time not in Thailand, instead preferring a hotel in the Bavarian Alps of Germany called Grand Hotel Sonnenbeek. As for how he would travel that often, the guy owns four Boeing commercial jets, three Suhoi super jets, four Northrop fighter jets, and 21 helicopters. And then there are the cars, in which the king seems to have a vintage taste, owning a 1960 Rolls-Royce Phantom that cost him $200,000 as as well as a $1 million 1964 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 3 and a $1.1 million Rolls-Royce Phantom 4, Mercedes Maybach 62 at $715,000, Mercedes V and S-Class cars both totaling $300,000, and the list of properties and extravagances could go on and on, which only proves the point that King Rama X is the richest king in the world. And boy does he act like it. And finally, at the end of our list, we have the one and only richest national leader in the world. The man, the myth, the legend, number one, Vladimir Putin. the most powerful man in Russia since the time of Stalin and Lenin. There is no doubt about how powerful Vladimir Putin really is. I mean, when you're, allegedly, a greater deciding factor in American politics than many Americans themselves, you know you're doing something right. And another thing Putin is doing right is money. And in signature pseudo-dictator fashion, once again, we realize that Putin's assets are, say it with me now, a bit of a mystery. However, all estimates have been known to land somewhere north of 70 
70 billion dollars. So if we take the most bare-bones estimation of Putin, it could be well over that of many small nations. And according to the former Hermitage Capital Management CEO Bill Browder, an estimate that was given under oath to the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee in 2017, the worth of Russia's most powerful man is a staggering 200 billion dollars, which makes him four times as rich as the second richest world leader, and almost twice as rich as all others combined. And while according to the Russian Election Commission, the guy only earns a comparatively modest $673,000, the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has posted a video featuring a mansion fit for a king said to be a gift to Putin by billionaires for undisclosed reasons. And so while his net worth may be a little unclear in terms of exact figures, Putin is without a doubt the richest leader in the world. And well, that concludes our list. And with that, we must end today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. With that, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.